Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is uh, the signs and the symptoms of the panic attack or panic disorder, you know. Uh, you know, the symptoms of the panic attack develop suddenly uh, without any uh, warning or any apparent cause, you know. And uh, the physical and emotional symptoms uh, may include like uh, uh, racing or the pounding heart, you know, like palpitations, you know, and chest pain, and stomach upset, indigestion, dizziness, lightheadedness, nausea, uh, hyperventilation, and uh, uh, breathing difficulty, you know, like. Uh, a feeling of uh, difficulty in breathing, you know, and uh, feeling of chalkiness, you know, like choking sensation, you know, and uh, like numbness or the tingling in the hands, you know, and uh, uh, the sensation like you're dreaming, you know, and the terror. And uh, maybe as you are powerless and you need to escape, you know, from that situation, you know, or worrying about uh, not knowing how to control their symptoms and leading them to be something embarrassing or fear of dying, you know. So there are multiple signs and the symptoms of the panic attack, you know. And uh, Although how long a panic attack uh, loss can uh, vary greatly from person to person and its duration is typically more than 10 minutes, you know. And a panic is uh, uh, one of the most uh, distressing conditions that a person can un uh, endure and uh, its symptoms can closely uh, mimic those of the heart attack, you know. And most of the people who have one panic attack uh, will have others and uh, when someone has repeated attacks with the no other apparent physical or the emotional cause and is negatively uh, it, it negatively changes the behavior due to attacks or the, or the feels severe anxiety about having the another attack you know and in that case the patient uh, uh, said to have the panic disorder you know and number of uh, other emotional problems can have the panic attacks as uh, a symptom you know and some of the illnesses include like uh, a stress disorder or a schizophrenia or intoxication and withdrawal from the alcohol and certain drugs you know and some medical conditions like thyroid abnormalities anemia as well as certain medications can produce the severe anxiety you know and uh, the examples of the such medications include like uh, uh, stimulants like uh, uh, Ritalin you know or uh, uh, Adderall you know and diabetic medications like uh, metformin you know uh, glucophage and insulin and anti-malarial medications and uh, now the anxiety attacks uh, uh, that occur while sleeping also called as the uh, nocturnal panic attacks uh, they occur less often than panic attacks during the daytime and but affect about 40 to 70 percent of those who suffer from the daytime panic attacks you know and the, this symptom is also important because uh, the people uh, who suffer from the panic symptoms during the sleep tend to have uh, more respiratory rest associated with their panic, you know. And they also tend to experience more symptoms of depression and other uh, psychiatric disorders compared to uh, the people who uh, do not have the panic attacks at night, you know. And. Uh, the panic disorder is in the, the teenage or the adolescent tends to have the similar symptoms as in adults, you know. And the symptoms of the panic attacks in the women tend to include more violence of anxiety provoking situations and more frequent recurrence, you know. And more often result in the use of medical care compared to panic attack symptoms in men, you know. And the frequency of attacks uh, may increase, decrease or remain unchanged uh, during the pregnancy. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos and everything. Keep watching. Goodbye.